Welcome to the Howie and Beast Mode podcast, where we discuss all things business, including growth, strategy, and execution, as well as personal and professional development. Let's join Howie and Beast Mode in conversation. What is up, Beast Mode? Howie, my man. I love the sword. Looking good there on your side, too, Mr. Uh... Mr. Tough Guy with the sports stuff all around and you're just <laughs> looking all sporty. Yes, yeah. Awesome. I'm a big sports fan. Yes, yes. I'm not. I'm a nerd. And I don't know if you can tell that I'm a nerd, but <laughs> Look, as I Star Wars as I show, droid. As I show my Star Wars droid in on the podcast. But um, yeah, man, I'm I'm kind of digging our new uh, our new series. This is episode five of yeah. collaboration to get stuff done. Yeah. Um, which people we've actually set a record recently on this series. So that's been nice yes. uh, for our listenership. So it's fun. We don't mind doing this for really small audiences, but it's nice to have a little bit more. Uh, it just feels good. So yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. So last week, what did we talk about? Yeah. Uh, so we've been talking about collaboration to get stuff done. Um, and last week we talked about how to start just really kind of the nuts and bolts i mean there's not a whole lot of fanciness to it four real main points you're going to choose to collaborate you're going to listen um you're going to select an opportunity and you're going to set expectations i mean super simple but they're very key um i mean we uh, how he talked about it a lot having a one pager i mean that's kind of the, that's kind of what collaboration is right there we just set a one pager for how to do it um, and so this week we're really we're really going to jump into some heavy stuff, and some of it's going to be um, it's going to seem a little raw because it is to us, um, but it's it's more the thrashing process. It's the um, that that seems uncomfortable, but as we're finding out, it's pretty normal. Good. Yeah, and we'll we'll probably have a story. We'll see if we'll see how comfortable Beast Note is yeah. uh, in sharing it. Uh, awesome. anonymous, anonymously, but, um, but yeah, I mean, we, we, you know, listen, collaboration is hard. You know, there's different opinions and perspectives that we have to please in, in the process. Um, so the, so the first thing is I wanted to kind of, I'll kind of cover off on it. I'll kind of kick it off. Yeah. But, um, what I've discovered when I'm working on anything new, and this is actually, um, you know, very focused on the collaboration topic, working with others, what you'll find is that you'll, you'll go to that group or that person to collaborate on something and you'll have something in mind. And when you bring it to them, they'll have a different perspective. <laughs> and so it's like, it's like, you wonder why people don't collaborate. It's because you're trying to get, you're trying to get a done and then they bring up B. Yes. And you're like, oh my gosh, like, yes. I just freaking, I'm trying to get your help on A. Why are you bringing me B? <laughs> yes. So yeah. what you have to do is, and that, so that thrashing, that kind of like that back and forth and that iteration process causes friction. Yes. And that it can, it can cause friction. It can, I hope, I hope some of the time it causes humor too. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of times it can cause friction or at least delay or frustration. Um, and so, but I want you to know that, and Beastman and I wanted to communicate to you guys that as you collaborate with others on your projects, that friction is really normal and that thrashing is really normal. So what will happen is, as an example, I, I came to Beastman with A and he thought about B. I have to satisfy his B or else I can't get him to really focus very well on A. Yeah. Right. But the, the thing about it is, is that collaboration is so important because I, anybody else who encounters this probably will think about B because I was blind to it. So the benefit, yeah, it's a little slower for me, but if I satisfy B, then number one, he feels heard. Number two, the weakness in my plan, which only involved A, now it involves A and B, the weakness in my plan was spotted and I now have knocked out B. Um, and also I've learned, think about it. I have now learned that, you know, um, there's uh, other dimensions than what I am singularly focused on that I better be thinking about. Uh, so, so I think you're learning, you're unpacking a lot of life experience with that when you go collaborate with others, but it does cost more time. 
because now I got to go freaking build out B or figure out B or get out of, you know what? And then the thing about it is, is that sometimes there's even a C <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get this A done. Yeah. You know what? And so you had this great idea. So, I mean, I think that's the problem is that friction happens because people have different needs and different yeah. perspectives and knowledge and experience and insights. Um, but that's why you collaborate. Do you want to really deploy something or whether it be a product or a process or whatever, do you really want to be missing a big, huge thing just because you don't want to go through that thrashing process? Yeah. Um, I will tell you, and this is the thought that was, I mean, eager to jump out while you're, while you were expanding on that. Sometimes it's setting the expectation in the beginning. Hey, I understand that there's probably going to be a B and a C to this, but today we're going to talk about A. Mm. Today, the expectation is I want your input and things on A. Now, if a B and a C are coming up, please write those down. Please yeah. want to come back. But today, mm. I'm not getting lost in the sauce. We're going to talk about A. We're going to solve A. And we're going to come back. We're going to set time and come back and do that. So um, I will tell you, though, is that it's um, don't close that loop. So don't come in and say, we're only going to talk about A and don't ever bring back B, you know, because that's how, that's how you stop collaborating, just as how I was saying, they don't feel heard. They don't, I don't really want to collaborate with you. You're not really listening, <laughs> you know, which is what we talked about last time. And so it's more along the lines of setting the expectation, uh, which again, we talked about last time. Uh, okay. but it, you have to be open to the fact that B and C are probably there and mm. thank God that you're, that you are collaborating because somebody saw it, you know? Wow. Yeah. I think it really develops, you know, a, a trust when you're willing to work through that conflict. I mean, I know, you know, sometimes people, I will, I just want to say different personalities have been through stuff. Yeah. People have, you'd be surprised what Beast Moon and I have seen and heard and what people have been through in their lives. And, and therefore, because of that, you don't just get to deal with B, but you get to deal with B plus baggage. Yeah. Right. And so how do the guys navigate the fact that sometimes there's actually not just light, but there's also heat? that gets generated in that process of collaboration? Uh, well, I mean, it's part of the expectation that you understand going in. I understand that when I'm going in to collaborate that I'm, I'm asking somebody for their honest opinion. And so asking means that there can be negativity, there can be dislike, there can be a potential pain on my end. And you gotta understand it. You gotta set that expectation with yourself. If you don't, that's unrealistic to you and you're going to be disappointed very quickly when not everybody agrees with you. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to understand, you know, just like how he said, sometimes I can be coming and um, I have one train of thought and from where I grew up and from my background and my history, this is the only thing that I see that's potentially negative and somebody else totally different, older or younger or, um, you know, been through some hard stuff. You know, they see something totally different um, mm -hmm. and it may not be an added value. It just may be an honest opinion that you're going to have to deal with understanding mm -hmm. this is a fault. This is a flaw. And we may not, we may not fix it. It may mm -hmm. just stay there, but we understand that now we see it. So now we may, we can promote our messaging around it. That helps kind of alleviate that. We can clarify who our product or our service is for you know, maybe somebody, you can address some of that a different way. Yeah, for sure. And the, the thing about it is, is when we go through the, a little bit of friction and we come out the other side with, in kind of a redemptive way. And we kind of like, we give grace and we, you know, we, hopefully you also receive grace, but if you give grace and you explain things and you, you try to not leave people with these loose ends of concerns, um, then you really have a stronger relationship. So the next time they know that when there's disagreement, that it's not the end of the relationship. Yeah. And so I think 
being intentional during your collaboration of letting that heat come out, but also not letting it um, just burn the relationship permanently is a really big idea. Yeah. And sometimes you got to separate. You got to, um, again, if you're in a position in a large work environment, um, you may not like everybody and everybody may not like you. And then, you know, and if everybody did like each other, that would be pretty atypical. But I mean, it's one of these things that, you know, I have to understand that sometimes they may not like my idea of what I'm, what I'm collaborating on because they don't like me. Mm-hmm. And that's okay, you know. But can we, can we set it aside or can I listen to your opinion and sift through what are you actually telling me? Are you telling me that you don't like me in, my, in your collaboration critiques or are you telling me you don't like the idea? Mm, yeah. yeah. And, yep. and that's the mature, somebody um, in, in collaboration, there's a lot of maturity that comes with it because you're going to get yeah. that. And I know that I have an experience uh, here recently um, and I mean, it's been very heavy. It's been heavy on my heart. It's been heavy on everything. And that's honestly what I've been doing is I've been sifting out, you know, is this a problem with the actual um, critique of the, the issue? Is there an actual issue here with, um, with business or with um, uh, anything like that? Or is this an issue between me and a person? And okay, so then now I can sift through and, and oftentimes collaboration on that is you can pull other people in to say, do you, and I know that I've talked about this in the past. I talked about it on the doubt series. Um, but sometimes, you know, you get some negative advice or you get some negative input from somebody. And sometimes I'll just take that exact same thing and go ask somebody, hey, do you see this? Hmm. Can, you, can you validate this? You know, am I missing this? And that takes maturity uh, I feel like it takes maturity on my part because that person could say, yep, I sure do. And now you just got double downed on, you know, two hammered. Um, uh, but I mean, if that's the case, then, then I want my eyes wide open, but if it's not, you know, I want to be able to, to be able to sift that and, and throw it away if, if need be. And I would say that if people are, um, you know, you should give grace and you should try to work with people and try to work stuff out. But also at a certain point, if collaborating with an individual has proven to be negative and you've really worked on it and you've tried, you know, they may have too much baggage, you know, or there just might be some kind of fundamental thing. So, you know, you you may wrap that situate, wrap that particular situation up and maybe collaborate with others in the future a little bit more if you, you have that ability, if you have the ability, yeah, because you may not be, you may be in a position where you don't have a choice. You yeah. just have to do it, and yeah. if that's the case. Then again, you, you just use it as a sift. You're sifting through every time. Ninety mm-hmm. percent of what you say, you're saying because you don't like me. Well, there's ten percent that you're saying because you there is an actual problem, and I need to find it. That's my job as an active yeah. listener, is to find it. Yeah, it's hard when you have because I, I remember um, in a job not long ago, we had some leads that needed to be worked in Australia, which is like 24 hours away. It's like the farthest away you can be. And so it's not in our time zone. And I don't know how many hours it was, but I think it was somewhere around there. And so I was asking executive, I was collaborating with executive management about how do we work leads in this remote way. And I ran one scenario by them of having a local partner work on the leads. And I was told no to that approach. So, okay. But I still have this responsibility on my back of, I've got some Australia, New Zealand leads that have to be worked. And I have English speaking reps here who can do it, but it's the wrong time zone. So Mm -hmm. I, so I, I made up this, uh, this new idea. So I was told, no, don't use a local partner. Okay. So I thought about it and I came back with another idea. Uh, of using a, a sales email campaign driven out of Europe, um, you know, long story. And I was told no to that. So then I came up with another plan and I was told no to that. And then I was, t- and then I heard back channel, not to my face, but back channel that someone said, someone in executive management said that I was pushy. 
and I wasn't pushy. I was responsible. I was trying to get our leads worked because yeah. how do you not work a lead from the bank of Australia? How do you not work a lead? How do you not work a lead? Uh, someone says they want your, your solution. And so, you know, people will take you wrong. I was not pushy. I was being responsible and creative and I was, I was persistent, but I was really nice about it. So it, it does hurt when you have these, you know, when you're taken the wrong way and I don't have a clear answer guys yeah. on collaboration sometimes will be messy and some thrashing is normal. Yeah. I, I think the good news for y'all is that there's a lot of value in it and um, you know, probably 80%, 85% of people won't take you the wrong way and will be pretty good to work with. Yeah. Uh, while you were talking, there was a great quote by Marcus Aurelius that um, came to my recollection and I just wanted to read it because uh, it, it, I think it's very apropos. It says, if you're distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this, you have the power to revoke at any moment. And hmm. so it's that whole thing that if there's a pain coming and we get in collaboration, if there's a pain coming from an individual, I can assign where that pain's coming from and turn it off. I can choose that, you know, I'm not, and again, a kind of a modern version of this quote is if there's a pain coming at you, I can decide whether I feel the pain or if I choose not to, you know, Very good. Very uh, good. there's that I'll, you know, have, uh, let it, let it roll off your back, you know, mm. kind of thing. And that's exactly that's, what it's talking about. And, and some people are better at that, you know, than others. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'm not, I'm not yeah. good at that. Yeah. Um, so okay. yeah, it's a weakness. It's a weakness of mine for sure. Yeah. Um, so I think, um, yeah, so, so be aware that some thrashing is normal. Be aware that when you bring problem A or project A to somebody that they're, you know, they're probably gonna have B and C issues with it and that's normal and you need to work through those and you'll have a more well-rounded uh, final solution because you listened uh, to that and you also have a better relationship. So I think those are key uh, takeaways for sure. We talked a lot about um, different backgrounds and people have different baggage to deal with and they yeah. do. We also talked about the fact that people can take you the wrong way. Um, I'll tell you the positive story, by the way. The positive story is when I worked at a cybersecurity company many years ago, uh, marketing was really against me because I was pretty active. And so I kind of stimulated a lot of thoughts and ideas. And um, they took that like I was in their kitchen and they took that like I was causing problems. Um, I have a card in that file cabinet behind me from the vice president of marketing for this company uh, at the end of that process when, you know, when they finally figured out that I was on their side and that I liked them and that I was trying to make a difference, I have a thank you card. And they gave me a, a I don't know, some kind of a gift card in there too. But it was a handwritten note from the VP of marketing saying that, you know, essentially we get you and we appreciate you and we thank you for what you did for us. And so you can win some people over. I'm not saying everybody's gonna get you wrong, you know, but when you're active and you're trying to collaborate and you're trying to get people involved, uh, some thrashing is normal. You can win a lot of people over. 15% of people you can, um, but I think the collaboration is worth it. Yeah, very well said. So, I think we're gonna tie a bow up on this one um, and just, because this one was pretty heavy, so we want, we want to give you time to to, yeah, to, to let it sink in. Uh, we want to give you time to even ask yourself some personal questions about this. You know, am I? How am I doing with collaboration? How am I doing with dealing with negativity? Uh, am I stifling? Um, uh, you know, because that's how we talked about. You know, if I'm not accepting any any other options or any other opinions, you know, oftentimes I'm a bad collaborator. And maybe mm. don't want to collaborate with me. And that could be an issue that you're having. You're, you're, it's a bottleneck that you're coming into, and maybe that's the cause of it. Mm. Some of these are root causes. You just got to self-assess. Mm. Um, but there's opportunities for each of us to grow. So. Love it. So awesome. Uh, this may be the close of the collaboration series. We're not sure yet, but we're excited for it. I know that we're uh, six episodes in, or. Four, five episodes in it's been so good it's hard right to... around there yeah it's so good <laughs> I, I, I really want to talk about technologies at some point okay uh so we maybe can squeeze one more out okay that sounds good or maybe we'll do a, we talked about doing a pop-up 
just uh, like a 15, 20 minute YouTuber or Facebook or we're just, you know, what's going on with you? And I know I want to do that. I think, I think we should experiment with that. So that'll be a Facebook live probably and YouTube live at the same time. We're going to figure that out. Uh, Gary V can do it. We can do it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We're on the same level. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Thanks again. All right, guys. Appreciate it.